All right, we're down to round number three and four. Puckett and Methods here hosting the show. This is the MLG COD League Season 3. They're about to kick it off with round three, starting with their number one pick in round three, going back up to Justice, our bottom seed. Justice, they're going to go after Bumzo right away. I have not seen this name. I have not cast this name. Who is Bumzo? As already, they're grabbing Modi and Thing2 in this draft. Bumzo is in that little S and D circle. He's from Florida. He's you know he plays with Zyback and Stoner and that group of S and D players. Okay. And he's definitely a good player and he's very good on host. I'll say that. So, um, he's he's going to be crucial for S and D and that's pretty much all he's going to be used for just because you know he really doesn't have the variant knowledge like most you know actual variant players have. So, and S and D we can definitely see him make some plays, but that's that's pretty much all we'll be seeing him for. Do you think we'll see Justice actually bring him in as an S and D specialist, or is this a guy who's kind of a, a worst case scenario? Uh, it's definitely possible. Uh, possible, you know, if if you need a win one night, say, you know, you really need to go three and zero or something like that, then you may want to bring him in just for the S and Ds. You know, throw the other team off. Not only will he play well, but I don't think your opponent's going to be too happy if you bring in an S and D superstar in that game mode. Yeah, <laughs> mind games, man. I love it. So Justice is going to be down to their last pick, Bumzo, getting the third spot on their sub roster. Let's take it to our next team, Elevate. Came in with the second to the last seed, finishing third in the season three play-in tournament. Of course, they have Mad Cat on the lineup uh, back when they qualified. Mad Cat from the UK, probably not the best idea to use him on a regular basis due to connection issues online. So let's take a look at who they're grabbing in round three. It was Miyagi in round one, Pluto in round two, and now Jump is added in round three. Uh, is this another s and specialist or an all-around player? Jump's an all-around player. He's actually one of my good friends. I actually played 2B2 wagers with him like every day. And he went to Anaheim and he proved a statement. He, he went there and he played his butt off and he played really well. And I'm happy for Jump because he's finally going to get at least a little exposure. Um, you know, he works really hard. Um, you know, I play with him a lot and he is very good at s and but in Variant, he shuts it down like, you know, probably none of the amateur I've ever seen. So um, I'm really excited for Jump, personal good friend of mine. And uh, I think he can definitely be a great substitute when needed. Well, you said you uh, play some wager matches with him. If you're going to put money on the line, what game mode would you be bringing him in for? Domination, Blitz, or Search and Destroy? Me and him actually either play 2v2 Domination or 2v2 Search and Destroy. So um, definitely those two game modes, and I'm sure he'll be you know, perfectly fine in Blitz. All right, jump second pick in round number three. Let's keep it going with our third pick here in round three, this belonging to Rise Nation once again. And this is a name we saw picked in round number, or excuse me, season number two, now picked up in season three. Accuracy added to Rise. Yeah, Accuracy was just recently released from that squad of EX who actually knocked us in the loser bracket at Anaheim. And him and Diabolic have some history. They were uh, they were teammates for quite some time. And Accuracy is a good player. Personally, I haven't, I haven't seen him play too much on land, but online he's definitely a factor. Accuracy is added to rise. Optic Nation is up next, and uh, this is going to be an interesting pick. I haven't seen this name anywhere. Uh, haven't cast any tournaments, haven't seen any 2Ks with him on a lineup. Charisma 23 is picked up by Optic Nation. Do you know this guy, Methods? No, not at all. All right, we'll find out what his alias is, as Charisma 23 seems to Wait, be his GB username. That that may be Rizma. Rizma. That may be Rizma. That what is Charisma would make a lot of sense. All right. Good work here, Sleuth Methods. He's on the case. Uh, Rizma, if that is him, solid pickup here? Uh, yeah, Rizma, um, I haven't seen him play too consistent in domination, but uh, just like the players I said earlier, when he's on, he's on. And um, he actually had some recent success. Well, not really recent, but back in Black Ops 1, I believe he placed second with Dose in the gang and legit. So he's been around for quite some time. He really just hasn't been in the spotlight recently. And he's been, you know, on and off. He really has been playing a lot. I think he actually just came back. He was on the workout ground for a bit, so good for him. And, uh, you know, he's back, and I think he's, he's, he's ready to play, play a lot. I see him tweeting quite a bit, so if that is you, Rizma, welcome to Optic Nation, our Season 3 Play-In Tournament champions. We'll see how often he's used. Moving on now, it's Denial once again, the team that finished at the bottom 
of the leaderboard uh, coming in from that international playoffs. Zuma has totally rebuilt this squad, and here's a name that I'm not surprised to see added after picking up Decimate and Felony. Jay Rich is going to be picked up here for Denial. Uh, Jay Rich, someone that we see in a lot of the S&D uh, finals. What are you thinking here? Is he going to be an all-around player or a specialist situation once again, Methods? Oh, uh, yeah. Jay Rich is definitely only going to come in and search and destroy. And, um, you know, he, he may be used as a variant sub just because I'm looking at their other picks, and it seems like they're only focusing on search and destroy picks, which kind of throws me off because um, looking at that team, you have replays, great vocal leader, Zuma and Saints, great slayers, and studies that versatile first pick, first blood player that you always want to have. And I'm surprised they really didn't attack a good variant player because you always want, just in case, you know, one of your slayers misses a day, you know, to be honest, you, you really don't want one of the S&D specialists coming in and filling in just because it's not really their cup of tea. It's not really their, um, you know, habitat. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty surprised with that. But Jay Rich, definitely a good player for, you know, what he's going to be used for. All right, Jay Rich added. Let's keep it going now with our next pick. We'll go ahead and throw it up. We're going to keep round three going. No commercial in this segment. Next, this is a guy who went in the first pick of round number two in season two. Next now added here to Radius in season three. A round three pickup. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised to see him this far down and still available for Radius. Good pickup here for the, the new squad led by Blevdog. Um, yeah, they definitely want him just because he's going to come in. He's going to shut it down in S&D. He really doesn't play much anymore, and when he does, he just streams and tries to entertain. But he still has that S&D knowledge, but I just don't think he could be too useful a variant. Okay, so next is taking a step back. That may explain why he's in round three, but Radius still showing some confidence in him as uh, it looks like the Radius lineup, Classic Saint, Slack, Huddle, Spacely, and next, they have one more pick. Let's keep it going here as our next team is going to be Team Caliber. James is added here. So TJ Haley, Jay Rich, and James, uh, all some big names going in today's draft. What do you think about James with the double Z? Well, we saw James actually be the first team to knock uh, EG into the loser bracket at Niagara, where they were also almost defeated by Nihil's team, but they were able to clutch up 6-5 last map. So um, James was able to defeat EG, I believe, with Trizzy, Ghoster, and Stun. Yeah, XGN. And, yeah, and, and James played you know pretty well personally. So I'm excited to see what James can do here. Personally, I haven't seen him play too much, but I do know he's pretty consistent. All right, Team Caliber. Going after Mud Dog and Sender, two guys on the grind. James, an up and coming player who showed what he can do at UMG. Our next squad, it's going to be FaZe once again here with our final five picks in round number three. And they went after Ken Goat. They already got a Dito. Who's this other Ken? Ken Goat is an SD star, also in that little group I was telling you about. His, he actually goes by Kenny or Crayola with a K. And I've played him, and he literally shoots rocket launchers. I've never played a better s and player just due to connection. He, he he's, he's literally an online warrior. So um, he's definitely going to be used in S&D when they need him, 100%. I don't see him not being played in s and when they need him. So is this a situation that you probably have this phase lineup playing in a few tournaments, and they ran into this guy had, and had trouble? Or is this a relationship type of thing where you think someone well, on the starting lineup knows him? I do know Parasite. Um, he plays wagers with him a lot. Got it. So I think that's where. Well, Parasite is doing the picking, apparently, for this phase team. So, Ken Goat, welcome to the phase lineup. Let's go through our final picks here in round number three. Our next squad has two picks as Envy missed their round two. Here's what they did in round number three. They went after 300 gang and sniped down. Snipe down, of course, a Halo legend, a champion in the Halo universe, came over, made it all the way to the U.S. championships, but fell short there in Call of Duty. He's continued on the Call of Duty grind, and now he has a chance to substitute for Envy in his second draft as a pick. 300 gang, who is this player? Uh, I don't know. All right. Uh it may be a username that we don't know the alias. Cold but... Chan, I'm told. So 300 oh, gang, of course, is definitely his... Uh, his GB username, Colchan, is a, a player that we've been seeing play with TJ recently. Yeah, so uh, yeah, Colchan is actually on Stunner right now with Jump. 
Um, right now they're a team of two because Vicenno left for EX. Okay. And their fourth. Who was their fourth? I'm not I, sure to be honest. I, I, yeah, well, I have the a, last time I saw him play, Cole Chan was actually playing with oh, TJ. Oh, it, it was, and, it was and TJ went all the way. It, it was TJ yep. Haley on center, but um. Yeah, so Cole Chan, really good player. I'm, I'm glad he's a fellow sub of mine on Team NZS right now. All right. You guys got a pretty solid uh, bench here. And now going on, we got our next pick. I lost my spot, so go ahead and throw it up, Will. It looks like Curse is now one of the last three teams. They went after Kenny. So not Ken Goat. This may be the Kenny you were talking about earlier. I have no idea, though. These no, GB I'm... usernames, man. We got to get just one alias per player. I'm... I'm so confused. I'm pretty sure Ken Goat is Kenny. Okay. I don't know who this Kenny is. Might be the original. I'm so confused. You know, we'll talk to Curse during the commercial break and figure that out. Let's keep it going. Um, in the Season 2 draft, we saw this player picked up very early, except at that time, he was playing with Envy. Optic Gaming is up next, and now they will go after Rambo here nice. in round number three. I can't believe Rambo has slipped this far down and still available for Optic to pick up. I was literally just about to say before this pick, have we seen Rambo been picked yet? And I'm also looking out for Assassin and Too Quick. You know, those are two players I also am pretty surprised that haven't been picked yet. Yeah. So, but yeah, anyways, back to Rambo. Rambo, he hasn't really been in the spotlight recently. He stepped down from Envious. They have a new roster now. And he's just been, you know, relaxing. He's been on the workout grind, my dude Ray. And, um, you know, he's still a hell of a player because, you know, once you're a player like him, you've been around for so long, you just don't lose it. You know, your shot may not always be there, but you will always have the mindset and you will always, you know, know what to do in certain situations. So Rambo, uh, I definitely see him being used for Optic. I hope that Optic puts together the old squad. You know, I want to see Big Timer and Rambo playing in the same match. We'll That's see. Awesome if they make it happen. Of course, Rambo played at the X Games in a number of our exhibition matches, always on top of the leaderboard. Let me tell you, the guy still got it. Moving on to our final pick in round number three, belongs to Evil Geniuses, and they're going after a player who was picked up in season two in a very early round. Temper with two R's, picked up by EG here to close out round three. Temper an overall player, or is he more of a S and D guy? Is that... That's not FaZe Temp, but that's I, no. think that's... I think that's a guy named Temp. And um, Temp, I believe I actually played him at MLG Anaheim of last year. So the Black Ops 2 MLG Anaheim, and I'm pretty sure I beat them 3-0 or 3-1, something like that. But I do know Temp is very good online. He, he actually, um, before Anaheim, he beat us online in some tournament, I forget, and I got really, really angry about it just because he completely joked us. So um, I'm not sure if he'll be used a lot, but when he's going to be used, I think he'll do the job. And it was actually Evil Geniuses who did pick up Temper uh, in round number three last season. They felt comfortable with him as a substitute, bringing him back here for season three. Guys, we're going to a final commercial break. We have round number four, the final round of the draft, live here on MLG.TV.